Hi guys, my name is Davis and welcome back to my channel. And today I am very excited to be trying my first ever mechanical keyboard ever because shock horror, I've never actually owned one before. But now because of Logitech, they've sent me a few of their new items and um, I'm just very excited to try it out. So today we're going to be unboxing the PopKeys wireless mechanical keyboard. This is the Blast Yellow version and it's special because it's got emojis how cool is that it's supposed to sort of replicate a typewriter experience but before we get to that they've also sent me the logitech pebble mouse which is very adorable it's supposed to be completely silent in its operation so we'll see about that and to finish it off we have the desk mat which is from the studio series i believe it's in this lovely gray color. It's very colorful, um, but I am still very excited to use it. Let's go through the keyboard's box. So on the front, we can see that the Blast Yellow version is indeed very colorful. It's also available in a few other options. There's this lovely pastel green that I sort of wish that they sent me, but yellow is good too. So we can see that this is also in the Studio series. And then we've got a number of emoji keys on the side. Um, we've got, you know, heart eyes. We've got the crying one, which is probably the one that's up, I'll be using most and the idea is that you can choose your favorites and just put them there so on the back of it we can see that it's got another picture of the keyboard it's sort of supposed to resemble a, um, a classic typewriter experience again I haven't really tried out a typewriter before but I'm sure this gets very close and also it mentions that you should be able to um, connect it via Bluetooth to three devices at the same time which is sort of um, good if you've got a MacBook and you want to connect it to an iPad perhaps an iPhone as well and the battery is supposed to last up to three years which is um, quite incredible obviously we won't have the time to try that out but um, I'm sure I trust them on this one so let's open it up shall we so I've already undone the plastic seal so we don't have to struggle this time three two one Ooh, how nice is that so on the top it says get expressive hashtag personality that pops I'm very happy about this because obviously there's so many boring keyboards these days and the keyboard is in this lovely oh my god this lovely tissue paper it's, it's such a cool unboxing experience so this comes off and oh do you hear that rustle it's actually really nice Okay, this is possibly the coolest keyboard I've ever seen. <laughs> it feels such a good quality. It's really hefty and... And obviously I'm not a keyboard enthusiast because this is my first ever mechanical keyboard, but I can say immediately that the feedback is really good and it sounds really clicky as well. So obviously with a mechanical keyboard, there is tons of travel. And since I'm used to um, Apple butterfly keyboards and now the uh, Magic Keyboard, um, with very little travel. This sort of feels like I'm typing on some clouds, I think. Let's see what else is in the box. So down here, we can see that we've got our remaining emoji keys. So we've got this one over here, which is the fire emoji, very cool. And then we've got the heart-shaped emoji. Mm, look at that. And then we've got our thumbs up. This definitely gets a thumbs up from me. And also, this one, I don't know what you call this one. What do you call this one, Dennis? So like the praying emoji. <laughs> the preach, yes, the preaching emoji. That's very cool. And then also, I'm guessing this is for um, the desktop users that don't have Bluetooth for some reason. You've got this little um, USB-A little dongle thing as well. So um, Logitech is servicing everybody over here. And then we've also got this little instruction manual thing over here. It's very uninteresting, so let's move on. Okay, so I'm just looking at the keyboard now and I just love the splash of color. The yellow looks incredible. And um, first things first, the escape key is just, it's this chromed bronze color and it just looks so cool. So now let's try it out. Let's see if it's actually worth the hype. This feels so good. Okay, so I've got my MacBook over here. I'm just gonna do some typing. This is um, Dennis, my brother. This is really, obviously really hard to type on the side, but this is a really good keyboard and it feels fantastic. However, compared to the Logitech, oh my God, this just feels so good. 
Some people have mentioned that the round case might feel a little bit awkward, but from this really short experience, it's just, it actually feels like a typewriter. It's incredible. I'm sort of interested though, um, being a non-keyboard enthusiast, how do you remove the keys to um, put the new ones on? Do you just force it off? Let's see. Oh, they do come off. Okay, so we've got the heart eyes emoji here and we've got the crying emoji. How does it know that you've, um, you've selected your emojis? I have no idea. We've got the, um, what do you call this one? The happy emoji. Is that crying laughter? I'm not sure about that. And then we've got this one, which is the crying laughter. And we've got this one, which I have no idea what this is. Which ones do I want? Okay, so let's see. I probably want the crying one. That's definitely a good one to have. That, that will be my top pick. Let's have this over here. Fantastic. Um, thumbs up, that's a very good one. If you can't be bothered to respond to someone's message, a thumbs up is always a good substitute. Um, a heart one, that could be good in case I really like something. Um, fire, I don't really use that. Love, love eyes, definitely want that one. And I want one more. Okay, that's really tricky. Um, the laughy, happy face. The, the crying, laughy face, that one. Okay, um, tell me in the comments which emojis you would have chosen. Um, but yeah, this is my selection. Let's try connecting it to my laptop now. Okay, so it's got this little tab on the back. Let's remove that. So I'm guessing that's already got a battery included. Oh my God, it's got a battery included. And this one little battery is supposed to last three years. Um, that's pretty incredible. But how do I get it connected to my computer? Okay, so there's this little button on the side. Um, is that on or off? I can't tell, is red on or off? I have no idea. Okay, so I had a little bit of a question. How on earth does uh, my Mac know which um, emojis I've got installed? And apparently I need to install the Logitech software. And that's what I've just done. Um, it took a little while to download, but now that I'm here, let's see if I can get it working. Okay, I've got my customizable keycaps, so let's, um, let's get that working. Continue to install. You can have a WeChat emoji. <laughs> oh, okay, so that one was supposed to be the emoji menu. That one might be worth having. Okay, so let's sacrifice, let's say, my... Um, mm, let's sacrifice the thumbs up for the... Um, for the emoji menu, shall we? Let's do that. Okay, so these are the ones that I've chosen. Let's see if I can install. Okay, I don't have any optimized apps on my computer because the only one that they've recommended is WeChat and obviously that's not an app that we use in Australia. <laughs> so this one, we've got the cryy face. So that's this. Fantastic. This one, we have the heart. Let's do that. This one, we have the laughy face, that. Here we have the um, heart eyes. And then finally, we've got the emoji menu. Okay, so let's see how that works. So this is my chat with my brother. So let's see, I'm angry with him, so I'm gonna cry, I guess. Oh my God, look at that. That is so cool. And then heart, that is, I don't know what I was expecting, but that works really well. And then we've just got the um, one click access to this menu, which um, some people have told me the, um, the, the globe um, key on your Mac does now, like that. But obviously you don't get that globe key on, um, yeah, this doesn't work here. Okay, fantastic. So this is the keyboard that works. What else have I got to unbox? Next up, we have the Pebble Mouse. Let's do this. Um, so although I've got a pretty boring example, this is just the plain gray one. Uh, it does at least claim to be modern, slim, and also silent. Um, silent is the operative word here. Obviously, I'm used to my Magic Mouse, which is pretty loud. So let's see how this compares. 
Um, this is definitely not unboxing it in the best way possible. I'm just um, destroying this box. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. <laughs> and should hopefully just pop out. There we go, that was the worst unboxing ever. But like with the keyboard, it does come with the, um, with the battery included. Apparently this one lasts up to um, 18 months. So not quite as long as the keyboard, but still pretty long. Um, let's put the top back on. Oh, we can peel this off. There we go, that wasn't the most satisfying thing in the world, but it's okay. Okay, so it's a really slim mouse, and um, let's see if I can get this connected to my computer. And um, it's connected. Wow, it's a mouse that works, and oh my god, when they say silent, they really mean silent. I'm just gonna put this really close to my mic. And from here at least, I can barely hear anything. It is so quiet. So um, while you've got your really loud and annoying mechanical keyboard, it can be balanced out with a really quiet mouse. I'm not sure why they've put these two items together because we've got like the loudest keyboard in the world and also the most silent mouse. But um, I, it's just strange. But um, it works pretty well. Um, it seems accurate enough. Um, they both sides work. Um, it scrolls um, like normally. <laughs> Um, it's a mouse. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to say. It's, um, it's pretty good and it's pretty affordable as well. Oh yes, the keyboard was $129, which is an incredible price. Um, it's way cheaper than the Apple Magic Keyboard. And this mouse is $44 in Australia, which is um, a lot cheaper than a Magic Mouse. It's also really slim, look at that. I wish they sent me a more interesting color, but you know, this is still pretty good. And then finally, we have the mat. This is $34, I think. And um, it claims to be wrinkle-free and also shrink-resistant. And um, the sides claim to be fray-resistant too. So that's um, a long list of features for a mat. Uh, so it comes out like that. It rolls out and wow, it's actually pretty big. Um, mouse pads definitely have moved on. Look at that. So we've got the um, Logitech um, logo on the side. Uh, there's a little bit of fraying going on, not sure what's happening here, but I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> and um, on the back, it is a, a nice grippy surface. Very interesting. So I think what you're supposed to do is put it on your desk like so. You put your mouse here, you put your keyboard here, and this is supposed to be your desk setup. So I'm just gonna put my laptop here for now, and then I'm just gonna pretend like I'm working and um, what's weird about this keyboard, um, I'm obviously not used to normal keyboards, but the profile is a lot taller than what I'm used to. So I'm um, Marissa having to do that. I'm not sure if that's normal for a keyboard, but it just feels a little bit weird for now. But the feedback is just, it's so clicky. I really like it. And um, it's really responsive as well. I think it's perfect, it's fantastic value and it's really cool. And the, um, the emoji keys are just fantastic. And that basically concludes my unboxing and first experience of a mechanical keyboard. This was the Logitech Pop Keyboard, the Pop Keys in Blast Yellow, I think. And I think it's a really good keyboard, especially for the price. The mouse is um, it's pretty good. It's extremely quiet. I'm not sure if I'm a desk mat type of person, but um, if you're going to get one, this is probably the best I've ever used. It's the only one I've ever used, but um, it seems okay to me. Anyway, subscribe if you want more content like this. Check out my other socials as well. Everything is in the description. Thanks to Logitech for sending me everything. And on that note, toodaloo.